What? Opponent excuse moi, because I just gave you the bishop. This wasn't a brilliant sacrifice or anything. I was thinking this is open and I will take the rook. That's what I was thinking about. I didn't see the pawn. What's up everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Chess Doctor here with yet another bangerino and in today's banger we're continuing our episodes of grinding elo in rapid chess. So today's episode three and uh, we're just gonna see, haha, I do be rhyming a little bit, uh, we're just gonna see how it's gonna go. Uh, I have been beating rapid people a lot, so am I gonna continue my streak or am I gonna lose it all is the question for today. So let's begin. Uh, and current elo is 1053. Uh, I enjoy that elo. Uh, on leeches, I, I'm, I'm just much better, okay? On leeches is just a completely different story. Like, uh, these days, I have been playing on leeches a little bit because it's more calm. I, I don't know, it's just people have a completely different style of playing um, compared to the chess.com, okay? So we have Queen's Gambit decline. Martial defense, okay? So we're playing against Martial here and we're just going to develop the horse, my dude. I plan on playing the Catalan because my dear 1000s have no idea what to do against it and I actually really enjoy it. So we're gonna go here and just chill, you know? We're just gonna chill, okay, guys? So yesterday I made a video. If you didn't see it, go and check it out. I played chess with VT Alien. We played Bullet and it was just insane. I almost got adopted, but I actually managed to win a game. So if you want to see me win, uh, make sure to go and check out my latest video. Okay, so he castled up. We're going to do the same because Surrey playing rapid. Okay, we have nowhere to hurry. Okay, that's kind of dangerous because in the future, like my bishop is going to look at here. So, <laughs> okay, what can we do? Maybe we can sack something. I would really like to sacrifice a piece here, okay? I would love to sacrifice. <laughs> I'm just so thrilled about sacrificing pieces. I don't know why. So, <laughs> what should we cook here? I think we should go for like E4 situation. Uh, but then if he goes like that, like we can jump here. And hmm, I think we don't... Oh, we have it here, the horse. I don't know. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Because he takes and then we like go like this. Oh, I don't care about that, sir. I'm just gonna fork you, okay? Oh, I don't care about that either. Because you're still in the fork. So, it was equal trade. It was equal trade, okay? <laughs> so, even when you think like, oh, I made a blunder. Like, oh, he took my rook and I was thinking I was smart. I forked him. I still forked him, okay? I still forked him. So, I don't care. Okay, this is defended here. Can we like put the horse somewhere to attack the queen? No, not yet, but we can uh, We can do it with the bishop, okay? We can definitely do it with the bishop. Interesting position, guys, interesting position. I'm just like looking at this opponent now because he's up a pawn and that's, that's it. This is the position we're playing. Up a pawn for the opponent, that's it. That's why I always want to sacrifice pieces. But now here I just think, oh, he can grab this. What am I doing? <laughs> Guys, I was really... He didn't even take it. What? Opponent excuse moi, because I just gave you the bishop. This wasn't a brilliant sacrifice or anything. I was thinking this is open and I will take the rook. That's what I was thinking about. I didn't see the pawn. Okay, so he's now threatening to take this, blah, blah, blah. Don't care. Uh, don't have time to care. Uh, do we have anything smart to do here? I mean, I, can, I can't go there. Yeah, that, this is very bad, honestly. Because what can we do? Like, we can ask the queen a question. She just takes the pawn. We can do this. Uh, but he, he's like planning on winning a pawn here. I don't care, sir. Win it. Win the pawn. I don't care. Win the pawn, okay? Win the pawn. Here you go. I'm gonna beat you down two pawns. Or three. Or how many it takes. I do not care, okay? I do not care. I just... I couldn't be more unfazed currently. When we're talking about unfazed, guys, today I was just walking around. And I was... Uh, Passing uh, by a park, okay, where many kids play and I was like, okay, I was minding my own business and there were like um, 
there were like uh, three or four little uh, go- uh, little kids, you know, uh, and they were talking together, like they're all friends, I guess, and they have like max 10 years. And I was like, what? When I heard them saying, you have the biggest Riz and you have the biggest Sigma grinds at Unfazed. That's exactly what they said to each other. I was so shook because 10 year old kids <laughs> in my very small place are saying Sigma Unfazed. I, I couldn't, I, I was just so shook. Okay, guys, that was so crazy. Okay, so now he's threatening my horse. So we have to like go somewhere because I just wanted to tell you the story, but... I practically lost the game here. I practically... I mean, he's up to pawns, so it doesn't have to mean anything, but we traded a lot of pieces. So that's that's a problem now, because if we're going into an endgame, I'm just straight up losing, you know? But we won't give up. We never give up. We are DJ Khaled inspired here in this community, and we just do not care. Because uh, he just gave the free horse. See, he just gave the free horse, oh yeah. And the rook, oh, what is happening? Okay, sir, what just happened here? Now I'm plus three, see, that's why I say we never give up. Never, ever, ever do we give up. We have to activate the queen. I don't know why here, let's go here, okay? Because then we can go like this, I guess, ha. Huh. He can't back rank me. That's that's good. That's a good feeling, guys, okay? So he just gave it. He just gave it. I don't know why. Okay? I don't know why. If he passes here, I will sack the bishop. I don't care. Okay, cuz I'm going to I'm going to tickle the the rook. Yeah, I'm going to tickle the rook. I don't care. Push upon. I don't care. Cuz I'm fearless, okay? I'm fe I don't care. <laughs> I'm sigma faced as those kids said. I'm Sigma phase. Okay, that's how I feel. So he like pushes here. Wait, if we're here with the rook and then he pushes the pawn. Yeah, that's not enough defense. That's not enough defense. Okay. But we can just go here. No. Because we want to protect this square, not this square. Okay, we will sack a piece. We don't care. We will sack a piece for it. We'll sack it all. Because now I'm plus material, so I'm, I'm going to sack something. Okay. So this is now the position. And we can just back rank him. <laughs> we can just back rank the dude. Yeah, he has to give the queen and, it, and it's mate, okay? So we just won the game simply, simply. He has to give the queen. There's no other way, right? There, there is absolutely no other way. We could have taken the pawn but, and continue to play like for 50 more moves, but why? Okay, game abandoned. He didn't even care to resign. The dude just abandoned, okay? So let's go for a quick game analysis because this was wild. I gave him the bishop. He just didn't take and then he was all mad, I, I guess, <laughs> that uh, he gave the, the horse back, okay? 59.4 accuracy. I Come on, people. I'm a GM at this point. And we have 44.7 for my opponent, which is even better. So, uh, good job building a lead and not letting up. Thank you, Stockfish, because we never let up. We never give up. We're here DJ Kaladin all the way, okay? We are the best, guys. Just have that positive attitude and you're gonna win it all, okay? You're just gonna win it all. You're gonna become a grandmaster. Everybody's gonna say you're a great player. I just know my Catalan here, except this move. <laughs> Okay, see, this was actually, this was actually good. As I said, equal trade. Here, I just gave it. See, a huge blunder. Completely winning for him. And he doesn't, he just doesn't take another blunder. Uh, let's see what's the best move here, because I didn't really think. Oh, I should have actually asked here, but I was like, isn't that pointless? Actually, that's the best move, okay? So sometimes we have to listen to our intuition. Here he wins a pawn and care. I was fearless. Another blunder, of course, of course. The accuracy would be higher if it wasn't that. And then he just gave it. Then he just gave it. And for him it was an in a mistake, but for me it's a huge blunder. Oh, come on, Stockfish, don't play favorites like this. And now we have this. A complete miss, don't care. And now we have this. I set the piece because I wanted to, and then we just back and rank to do it. <laughs> then we just back and rank. Okay, 800 straight up the... Uh, this uh, estimate. I always forget about that word. And 450 for my opponent. Oh, the opponent just went straight up back. He got 
more than half of his rating as, as an estimate, okay? Actually, more than half of his rating less. That's how you say it. That's how you say it. That's the sentence, okay? So, guys, this, this was an easy game. Uh, this uh, series and these episodes of uh, grinding ELO in rapid chess is actually very simple. So far, so good. I'm not saying you're gonna stay like that forever because of course the more you climb the elo it's harder to gain the elo and it's uh, the tougher the games you know uh, but like this I'm I'm, ha I'm feeling happy you know I'm just beating everybody subliminally so we don't give up here guys don't give up when you blunder it's okay just remember that you're human and that it's okay to make blunders not just in chess this is life advice guys that's why they call me chess doctor uh, so just relax, you know, and keep on going because you will never know what awaits you until if you don't keep on going, you know, if you give up, you will never know what the possibilities maybe were for you, okay? So just keep on going and not just in chess, in life in general, guys, just try your best and if you make mistakes, don't beat yourself too hard over that. That's the, that's the point of today's game and today's, uh, today's message of the video, okay? Because uh, we can learn a lot from chess. Chess is a very fun game because you can apply it to real life situations so many different ways and I just love that and I love I love you know sharing these messages that I find out through throughout my positions with you all and I hope that it uh, makes somebody smile okay so guys uh, that's it for that game and for the video uh, thank you so much for stopping by and watching me it means really a lot thank you for taking your precious time to watch your chess doctor that's just insane and uh, guys I wish you have a wonderful day uh, keep on writing the, those beautiful and wonderful comments thank you so much Join the Discord and check out the, uh, the description uh, for all of the links uh, to the Patreon, to the Buy Me A Coffee, to the memberships, to the Discord, to the Soul Crushers Club. And we're soon going to have an arena, so stay tuned for that as well. So guys, this is it from your chess doctor. I just do be winning all the way. And uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day and keep on smiling, keep on being happy. So guys, that's it. I will see you all tomorrow in a new video. Bye-bye!